I'm here today with Kitty, Belle, and Chloe. We've got another awesome craft for you. Now, this as you can see, we have ourselves a paper lantern. Now, you may have heard these called paper lanterns. You might have heard them called Japanese lanterns or Chinese lanterns. Um, there are a couple of other names you may have heard. Those are the most popular names we've heard. But the idea is that we have a paper lantern. And today is actually the Lunar New Year, which is also Chinese New Year. So we thought we'd have a paper lantern that is kind of inspired by the holiday. So very simple variation of what you may see for the actual holiday. So to do this craft, we are going to need a sheet of paper. Now we pick construction paper just because we love the colors. A ruler, a pair of scissors, a pencil, some tape. You can use glue, but we found that we were just a little too impatient to let the glue dry, so we went with tape instead. And also, if we're going to decorate our paper lantern, we need some art supplies, crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you happen to have, we have crayons. So, campers. You want to see how to make your very own papered lantern? Yeah! Awesome. To make our paper lantern, we take our paper and we have it with a long ways. It's going this way. We take our ruler and we line it up right on the edge. Let me scoot that over so you can see that a little better. And you will want to take your pencil, but because that is impossible for you to see if I do that, I will use a pen. Now remember when we hold our ruler we make sure and don't hold it just in the center we want to spread our hand out and the wider you can actually get is better. I had it just kind of like this but if you can get your hand further so that way otherwise it'll just turn right out of your way. Now to make this cut the easiest I'll actually turn my paper this way and that means I just have more to hang on to while I'm cutting. Now I will cut on that line as best as I can. That's why it's good to use a pencil so your line fairly shows up. You don't have a big old line like this one's going to have, but that's okay. So we take our piece for our handle and we put that aside for right now. Now we take what's left of our paper and we will fold our paper in half the same way. The closer we get, the better. I'm gonna push on your crease. Now we really, the more we crease this, the better it'll be for later. We really wanna take our fingernails and crease. I crease on both sides. As the sharper this crease is, the better our lantern will have that, that bendiness to it. That's a little hard to see. There it is. So if that's too straight, then it'll just kind of won't be bending. Now, now that we have our paper folded, we need another line on it. Now this one, again, we'll line our hold our ruler up with the edge of this paper right here. Hold our Hands up, far apart as we can. Now again, we will, I will use a pen. It would be better if you use a pencil. But if I use a pencil, you will not be able to see what I drew. Now there's our line. Now as always, don't forget to cover your work surface. I always forget that. So let's go ahead and unfold your paper real quick. And you'll get an idea of where it is and that line. We will go ahead, I'll just put a couple little squiggles here which are hard to see because I'm making them very light. So otherwise that's gonna make what I'm doing very confusing. So go ahead and flip it back. Now we're gonna wanna cut slits in the paper and we're gonna wanna cut it right to this line. And this line you can actually decorate and make it pretty and part of your design. So. It looks neat. Sometimes when you see these paper lanterns, they'll have a decorative border right here. You can see why. So we'll start. We'll start on this side of the paper so there's more to hold with your, your hand. Now you could take a ruler 
and measure and draw lines. And that's actually what I did with my yellow lantern, but that takes forever. So I don't want to do that again. So what we're doing is just cutting straight up. The straighter, the better. Straight up and down. Now, these uh, slits that you're making on the paper go all the way up to this line, but don't cut all the way through. So you see how my paper is like this. And I'll just keep cutting. You can kind of see my design a little bit. I made it really light, though. Yours can be a little darker, although it may be a little hard to see where make make your cutting a little bit more hard but it'll be okay so i will just cut oh these slits can be mine on that one we're about an inch this these ones are closer to a half inch it's kind of however you want um the more consistent the better but it can be however you would like it oops not the camera Now do be sure as you're cutting, this paper starts to shift, and you can't really see it that much, but it is starting to shift just a little bit, so make sure that's another reason to hold this side of the paper. So we make sure that our paper doesn't shift on us. Okay. We can unfold our paper, have our design side up. Now you can see where this line is. I'm going to Kind of play a little connect the dots here. Give myself a little bordered edge there. Now, here's the fun part. Now you'll want to take your lantern and roll it around. So now it is a cylinder. And this is where we liked the tape instead of the glue because when we glued it, it it just came apart and then we were sitting there holding them and that just seemed it wasn't a lot of fun so you just use a little piece of tape if you wrap it around on the inside that works great you can overlap them as much or as little as you want but you want to make sure that you have enough overlap to put your tape on you, of course, could use some decorative tape. You might could take your tape and put it all the way around some of our washi tape. And you could really get creative with that. So there we go. I now have my... It's a little hard to see, so we'll hold it on its side. Now we'll take our, our piece, and we could decorate that one, too. I will give it a little quick line just for fun. And now you want to place that on the inside of your lantern. And go ahead, and this tape doesn't hold that well. This paper's a little bit tricky, so I put tape on the inside and outside. And you bring your handle straight across. It's a little bit hard to see there with the table. And there you have it. There is your lantern. Let me just tilt the camera up just a smidge. And you can see. All right, I'm gonna, you're going for a ride here, Sec. You can see. You can see Chloe and Belle there smiling. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> there is our lantern. Now, the reason why we needed those. Um, those really good creases you see was so that this bends. If these aren't good creases, then your lantern will just pop back up straight. So campers, are you ready to make your own lanterns? Yeah! Awesome. Give it a try. Okay, go ahead and start. Okay, bring it up here just a little bit. Just wait. Mark your line for your handle. Remember, just hold your hand out. Spread it out. And now go ahead and cut on your line. Spin it around and cut it.
set your handle aside and we will, you know what let's go ahead and fold in half that way we can tell where design will be on the top and bottom so fold in half from here Increase it like this. Hold up the air, increase both sides really well using your thumbnail. Okay, hold top to bottom. Okay, and then go ahead and turn it. Take your ruler and draw the next line. Make sure and draw it on the not folded side. Now you drew a really dark line, so you should be able to see your line, Chloe, but you can go I ahead and so. open it up and you mark that line a little better with something or you can just leave your line as is. And while your paper is open, go ahead and decorate. So let's see what we've got here now. Here is my lantern I have. Let me see, then I will get kitties. I called her Chloe earlier. I told you I'd get everybody's name mixed up. If we ever see each other in camp, I'll probably mix your name up too. I'm sorry. It's because I just, I like all y'all. Y'all are all awesome, so. Now this is kitties, very cute. Now we did actually, I think Chloe was the one that pointed out that the thinner these little strips are, the more it, it bends and bounces. That's why we think this one is fairly straight and this one has more bouncy to it. More bent, let's see. We will have bells next and Belle put a heart on it, how sweet. And again, we went with, she went with a thinner strip, so it's a little bouncier. And now I will grab Chloe's. And she also, particularly on this side, has the slits really close together. So here we go. We hope that you had fun making your paper lantern. And if you're interested in some of those holidays I talk, go ahead and do a little research. You can find a lot of awesome, fun things from those holidays that we can all learn about and share together. So we hope that you have fun. Don't forget to send us pictures of your paper lanterns because we love looking at them. 
and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.